well hello there my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend guess what i am back i am sorry for uploading a little late but hey look at this set isn't it super duper cute it says sad girl on it because i'm not gonna lie to y'all i've been having the quarantine blues all this being trapped indoors is making me super sad your girl wants to go out she wants to go to the club but you know hey i'm gonna make the most with what i got let's make some bougie nails instead <laughs> well all right if you guys want to learn how to make this set stick around hey friend welcome back to my channel i am so sorry for uploading a little late this week just like i mentioned before i've been having a little bit of the quarantine blues and i haven't really been in the schmood for anything so i've been cheering myself up by redecorating my room what do you guys think and i also recently got a laptop and i'm learning how to edit on that so i could pump out more videos for you guys oh and check out my little tarantula cherry she just sits there and laughs at me while i get frustrated because i can't edit i'm a grandma <laughs> <laughs> well anyways you guys i want to give a big shout out to nail addict la for sending me this package when i got this package i put a really big smile on my face and i was really really excited i can't wait to show you guys the look so let's get started so i already have some press on nails over here i got the little ugly short ones because we cannot waste our beautiful extra extra long ones on swatches boo boo hey friend so the first color that i'm going to be swatching is going to be another glass and i really really like this baby blue color and i'm only going to be doing one layer of each color so you guys could see how opaque these colors are and the next shade is called wonderland it is a really beautiful army green and the next one is called yellow addict and it is a really cute bright bright yellow and the next one is my second favorite y'all i love this pepto bismol pink it's so bright and it's like pa pow right in your face i freaking love it and the next shade that i have is called royal green and this one's not as opaque as the rest but i still love it and unfortunately i didn't record the rest of the swatches because my phone was still in time lapse mode but the rest of the colors that i swatched were my bf loves it and that's the peachy one black addict and that's the black color and red addict and that is the bright red color that you guys see right there and these are the swatches you guys oh and by the way i stuck this nail in too deep and it smudged whack well anyways let's get started you guys and let's get started on our sad girl nails so the colors that i'm going to be using for today is another glass black addict and as a clear coat i'm going to be using the zule's no wipe hardening top coat i usually use the nail addict la no wipe top coat but i'm all out <laughs> that's how much i use it you guys if you're on the website i definitely recommend that you grab the no web top coat from nail addict la and let's get started so i'm going to be using extra extra long press on nail tips from aliexpress and i will be linking them down in the description box below and before i apply them i'm going to be prepping them and the way that i prep them is i take my pink buffing block and i buff the tops to create texture and after i'm done buffing the tops i shape them with a nail file and i don't really do much shaping i just like to take the little uh pointy tip off and then i just uh dust them off and clean them off with some rubbing alcohol and once we're done prepping them we're ready to apply the gel nail polish okay so now we're going to take our gel nail polish i'm going to be taking my colors another glass and a black addict and i'm just going to be painting one layer and then i'm going to be setting it in my uv lamp for 60 seconds and this is what they should look like after they are done. And I'm going to be adding a, another layer of gel nail polish. Set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And when we take it out, we're going to be applying a top coat. Now I'm going to be taking my Zule's No Wipe Hardening Top Coat. And I'm going to be doing the same. I'm going to be putting it on all my press-on nails. And then putting it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what they should look like when they are done okay i don't know if you guys are looking at that clear now like what is she gonna do with it but i'm about to do something with it baby and so now i'm gonna take a little tray and we're about to be some chemists right now so we're gonna take a clear gel nail polish and then we're gonna take a black color any color of your choice i'm gonna be using black addict and i'm just gonna be mixing and at first i was like oof that's a little too dark but it just looks dark because when i applied it onto my nail it was actually the see-through color that i was trying to get i'm trying to get like that see-through type of black and yay i achieved it so i'm gonna paint the whole entire nail this color and without setting it i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it like that so it should look like this once you're done painting it and now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put some more black in my little tray and i'm gonna dip into it with a tiny little art brush 
and i am just going to be creating some lines like a marble i got inspired from my last tutorial the spider tutorial that pink marble made me want to create a black marble so here i am just trying it out and you guys could use a reference picture but i'm just going to be drawing random little lines that just feel right to me and it doesn't really matter how much black you guys add to it it could be whatever just as long as you have little clear black lines just like this does that make sense and this is what it should look like afterwards and still without setting it i'm going to add more clear clear gel nail polish onto my tray and with that same brush i'm going to go over my black lines and i'm going to dilute them a little bit so that they could spread out just like this and i'm going to be going over all of my little lines with the clear And once you're done doing that with your clear gel nail polish, you're going to take a white gel nail polish. I'm going to be using White Addict by Nail Addict LA. And I'm going to be dipping into it and I'm going to be going over my little lines once more. Try not to get too much white and just add little tiny details like this. And once you are satisfied with your little white lines, you can set it. Hmm, so what do you guys think about our little experiment? I think it looks pretty cute. It looks I. It's not like professional, but it's all right. What do you guys think? Oh, and never mind. Okay, let's just set it before we ruin it. And so this is what it should look like after we are done setting it. And since it is set, we are going to be going over it with a juicy layer of clear top coat. Setting it again for 60 seconds. And this is what they should be looking like so far. And now let's get to working on our teardrop nails. So I'm going to be taking the baby blue color once again. I'm going to be adding a little bit on my little pink trays. And I'm going to take this little dotting tool that I got from AliExpress. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of the baby blue. And I'm just going to make a little dot on the tip of my nail just like this and you guys could use a toothpick but i'm gonna be using an exacto knife and i'm just gonna be bringing our little circle to a little tip to like a little triangle tip just like a little teardrop and just gently work at it until you get a fine little tip and you could clean up your little edges and voila you have a little tiny teardrop sad girl <laughs> so we're gonna do it again a little dot and then we're going to take our little toothpick or exacto knife and then we're going to bring it to a little tip, a little triangle tip and voila. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of my nails and then I'm going to set them for 60 seconds. And once they are set, they should look like this. And I'm going to be going over them with a nice thick layer of clear gel nail polish and I'm going to be setting them again for 60 seconds again and they should be looking nice and juicy afterwards. Unfortunately, I didn't get a clip of me taking out the teardrop nails out of the UV lamp, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start putting on my old English stickers on my baby blue nails. I got these old English stickers from Amazon. However, I couldn't find the exact link, so I will be adding alternative links. But these were from Amazon, and I believe they're all the same. And I'm just going to be spelling out sad girl, um, sad on my middle finger, and girl on my thumb. And once I am done adding my stickers, I am going to be going over them with a clear gel nail polish setting them in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and they should be looking nice and shiny and they should be nice and secure after that too hey so they're nice and set i don't know if you guys realize but i did the stickers away from me this time instead of facing towards me I tried a, something a little different. So let's get our Jenny Secret Crystal Gel. Let's get our glue brush and let's get our crystal pickup pen. Um, I broke my other one, so I'm using this little pe uh, this little pencil. And I'm also going to be using these little gems that I got from Amazon. I got them in a little multicolor pack. And I'm also going to be using these little opal ones. I ended up going to the San Jose Flea Market and I found a little stand where they have a whole bunch of nail crystals. And she gave me her business card, so you guys should go check her out. She had like a whole bunch of variety and she had like a glitter wall as well so i definitely recommend that you guys go to the san jose flea market and check out her stand and pick up some crystal gems so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be adding some of my jenny secret crystal gel and then i'm gonna be taking some of my larger ab crystals and i'm just gonna be placing them in a row and once i am done placing my gems in a straight row i'm gonna be adding smaller gems around it to make a pretty blinged out cluster
and this is what my bling ended up coming out looking like what do you guys think this is like one of my favorite blings ever i love it so we're going to be setting that for 60 seconds and i'm going to be doing the same to the sad nail but just on the bottom cuticle part And this is what our little sad nail should look like. She looks like she has a little crown. And now I'm going to be moving on to the girl nail. And I'm going to be doing just about the same. And this is what our nail should look like after we're done. And don't forget to set this for 60 seconds after you're done blinging. And try to do it as soon as possible so your crystals don't move around. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to go and bling out the marble nail. I feel like I could do a little bit better on the marble nail. So um, I don't mind covering it up with some bling. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add a nice little row of bling. Nothing too crazy. Oh, and I definitely recommend using this little flashlight right here to set your crystals to keep them from moving around while you're um, setting them. And so now I'm going to take my little teardrop nail and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Zule's crystal glue. And I'm just going to add um, tiny little random dots of glue around the nail and adding gems on it just like this. And once we are done setting our nails, this is what they should look like afterwards, friend. Yes, they look so freaking cute. We are a bougie AF sad girl. Well, okay, friend, don't forget to check out No Addicts LA's website. And don't forget to use my code to get some shimani off and i also wanted to show you guys the set that i designed for my other hand it's teardrops with a nice little design on the middle finger what do you guys think let me know and also i wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit before i dipped i just wanted to give a little shout out to those who haven't been feeling themselves lately and i just wanted to let you guys know that you guys aren't alone and i'm here for you i really haven't been feeling myself i haven't felt like val lately but if you guys feel the same way as i do and you feel this sadness taking you a little bit lower get the heck out of bed friend do something nice you know what i mean do something that you like and lift your spirits up and also if you guys are um a sad person that likes to nap a lot please don't forget to get up drink some water go to the bathroom shower and eat something baby if i was there i'd make you a sandwich but since i'm not there i'm reminding you please eat something i love you guys so so much please take care of yourselves please be nice to one another and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friends Mwah.